and using this kind of movement to attack. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here. Today is another beautiful day again for the training. Now, as you know, many different lessons. Other day, uh, we last week, we were on the movement onto the when it going out and then get some stick and start to use it in onto the awareness. Today, somebody asking about what's the most dangerous pressure point in the body? Five most dangerous pressure points. The first one is got to be the throat, okay? Learn to understanding that the throat is very important. When you chop somebody into the throat, they won't be able to suck anything anymore. They're finished straight to the throat. To chop in the throat, like when you're using a knife hand, okay? The hand, that straight up is finished. Another thing to understand about this, when the throat attack, they cannot breathe. Broke can't breathe. That's where the Wing Chun is attacking directly into there. As you're attacking, they move away. Next important part to learn to understand about the pressure point is start to attack it straight to the nose. Okay? Straight from here, move straight to the nose. And that's where another pressure point attacking into here. Straight to the nose. When you're attacking there, it's going to be bad. Thing can happen when you learn to understanding this part of the first point straight to the nose like this as a hammer fist coming in okay all the palm like this it's bad something gonna be dangerous if you start doing this directly like this is that gonna be cold cold another one onto the pressure point side is down to the jaw here this is a knockout okay when you're attacking somebody directly on the jaw. Hammer fist is a good choice. Boom. Straight to the jaw like this. Coming boom. to the jaw like this. As you are talking to the, boom. straight to the jaw. As the hammer fist coming in, okay? Like this, the hammer directly into the jaw like this. It's a knockout, okay? Cold, cold. As you are attacking while they're moving, the another first point you got to be around the back of the head. Yeah, boom. that can be the knife hand as you're moving, okay? Knife hand, boom, like this, straight to the front, cross back here, straight to the back like this, right to the back of the neck. That can be very, very dangerous when you're attacking that particular spot. Another one you need to learn to understand as well, to take another pressure point is when you're there, a boom, elbow. That elbow, boom, straight away in shoulder plate. When that land into the silver plaque here, the person can't not, can't not breathe. Very bad, okay? Boom, down here. Soon you come down, use the elbow, but directly. Elbow coming up to the throat, the same principle. You have to realize that when you are using this kind of movement, your enemy is gonna move and not gonna stand still. Some of you ask me this question a lot. Uh, Bob, don't hit back. That's why I call the bob. It's there for you to train <clears throat> like this, okay? For your training, for you to get you to get into the places, in the right places. Get you to control them. Attack in the throat here. Attack in the neck here, okay? Hammer fist coming in, hammer fist coming in. This is called practice positioning your body. Okay, this is important for you to understand that. Soon you're understanding that, then everything you're gonna use it in real life it become easy because you already got a target here to practice to know how to use in the elbow this is all weapon elbow okay how you're going to use it on each of the movement here as you practice to control it okay as you're understanding all that everything you do it become easy any question comment below here and tell me what else do you want to learn on the sunday lesson and what else you want to know on to the uh, training side I will be here to answer some of the questions and a lot of time I put a lot of lesson up there for you to practice to learn it's all about practice okay practice 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 training and learn to understand it my wuti learn to understanding that as well situation awareness is not the important thing because the world we live in is bad so you have to be ready <coughs> prepare <coughs> for unexpected things <coughs> All these things have to learn to get yourself ready. Any question, comment below here and I will be here to answer 
the question with our team and helping you to learn to understand them. If you're watching through this, you love it so much and you like it and you want to subscribe to me, make sure you're hitting the bell button so when the new video come up, you will get a notification right away. Otherwise, if you want to learn anything else, check out our website, masterwong.tv for more information, for more training and join my newsletter. I update a lot of this information and helping you to learn and get yourself educated. Master Wong here, have a beautiful day. Tell me what you want to know more about it and then I will go do some more lesson to explain to you more about this. Okay, Master Wong, out.